There was also news around Allbridge introducing a cross-chain uh, bridge, uh, which unlocked interoperability between Stellar, Ethereum, Solano, and, and other blockchains. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So, you know, we were talking about cross-border payments and, and the, this idea that Stellar from the get-go was all about interoperability. And originally, it was interoperability between you know traditional financial systems because that's what we had in 2014 2015 when 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 stellar was launched but we live in a very different world uh these days and we have these like thriving crypto economies and we want to make sure that stellar does a really good job in bridging every type of financial system so these like trust minimized uh bridges that allow you to move between chains are super important to facilitate these use cases. So Allbridge is uh, one bridge that's uh, being launched. Axelar is another one that is actually building on Sorobon on the smart contracts. And what they do is they allow Stellar, user, Stellar users to leverage assets across chains. So let's say, for example, that I have, um, you know, I'm like liquidating a position in Compound and Ethereum, and now I have like USDC in my uh, uh, or some other uh, Ethereum specific coin in my wallet, and I actually want to cash out. What am I? What are my options right now? I'm kind of limited to the uh, to whatever you know the Ethereum ecosystem has, and we now know. And by the way, there was this um, report coming out of the uh, block last uh, last month. Uh, researching on and off ramps and, and demonstrating how Stellar uh, through the MoneyGram integration is the, the most accessible um, uh, kind of like fiat to, um, uh, to crypto network. So if I want to utilize that, but I'm on a different chain, then Allbridge or a, another bridge allows me to move from like my USDC or ETH on Ethereum to an asset on Stellar and from there to cash. So from that perspective, you can think about Stellar uh, being used universally as like an on-off ramp network, even if what you're doing is not specifically happening on Stellar. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and, and and that makes sense. Uh, and I've often talked about it on the podcast, interoperability between different chains, and it's going to be a multi-chain world and, and the ability to move between each of them. So that's really great. Yeah, and we're not, you know, we're not chain maximalists where uh, we think there's enough to go around and, and there are different use cases and great use cases for other chains out there. And so we want to make sure that, you know, we're working, uh, you know, together with them and, and not against them. Meridian 2023 really demonstrates the magic of collaboration. Let's talk about this collaboration because we're always talking about collaborations when it comes to Stellar. We covered ARF. We talk, talked about Sorbonne. We talked about a lot of these other ones, right? Well, introducing the all-new mobile-friendly Allbridge IO Classic. Who is Allbridge? Just in case you didn't know. They are a simple, moderate, and reliable way to transfer assets between blockchains. Now, it goes on to say that this is available directly inside what? The wob, uh, the Wobster. What am I, a wascally wabbit? Anyway, the Lobster uh, Wallet Connect DAP, right, section. Um and another thing I want to mention is start bridging, like it says, EVM assets seamlessly with just one device. Try today. Notice how Max tied in the old Hedera thing, right? So if anything, what is your main key takeaway from today? Probably should be EVM and how that stands out, right? If you already have done the research, you know. If you haven't, that's okay. That's why we do these deep dives and so on. So why are they so thrilled about it, right? Well, we're going to share what this is all about and so on. Um, and if anything, I'm gonna blow this up. Hold on a second. Here it is right here. And here's the launch overview. Let's blow that up. It comes straight from their medium. And you're going to see here, this was posted how long ago? 11 hours ago. So what is this? Why is it important to you? Well, basically speaking, um, talks about the new opportunities for cross-chain innovation. Uh, you have, of course, the partners, um, close partners, Ultra Stellar, um, and it's basically part of this integral part of this bridge launch, right? So together, they're expanding the availability, <clears throat> excuse me, of mobile access to announce or enhance, excuse me, Stellar's cross-chain interoperability, combining their development efforts. They have, of 
course, made this whole Allbridge dApp seamlessly accessible inside Lobster's MetaMask mobile interface. But the latest integrate integration, excuse me, offers significant benefits, right? Because at the end of the day, like how how does it benefit you and so on? Well, here we go. Um, benefits to the cross chain flow, bringing the possibility to seamlessly move assets between what Stellar and other EVM blockchains to the palm of one's hand. Okay, so great. We're always talking about mass adoption, but we also, in order to get to mass adoption, you have to have ease of access, right? Like, no kidding. Um, this elevates the existing Allbridge Classic experience, making it more accessible on mobile devices and expanding its usability. I think people just don't understand when they look into more of the nitty gritty or if they don't look into the more nitty gritty or do the deep dive research that, you know, some people just like get into Stellar and they don't simply understand or even know about some of the things that Stellar is tied into. It's like, I don't know about you, but if I'm putting thousands of dollars into some of these digital assets, I want to research it more. I want to know what I'm invested to, into. I see a lot of people, and I'm not bashing anybody, not you guys or anything like that, but, you know, a lot of people in general, they just, like, throw money at some pr projects, and it's just like, do you even understand the utility? Do you even understand, you know, some of the things that are part of the ecosystem? Let's face it. Maybe some of us are guilty of it, but want to know something? You could always find out more about why these things are such a big deal. Because for me, when I mentioned that Stellar, in my opinion, is going to be the one when it comes to, like, you know, that concept of, hey, can I buy groceries with this? Or can I pay bills with this? And is there ease of access? And if so, will a lot of people start using this? And will it become the norm within the next few years? Or by 2030, when we have... Uh, what is supposed to, supposedly supposed to be the great reset. I know sounds crazy. Will Stellar be at the forefront, right? Will people literally be talking about lumens all the time? This collaboration, like it says, creates more opportunities for that growth inside Stellar ecosystem, allowing newcomers to benefit from the advances in user journey and introduce them to numerous apps for further interactions. Now, I know you don't see Sorbon mentioned here, but this is a part that you need to pay attention to because, again, with Sorbon, that key to smart contract functionality, functionality, especially when it comes to their premier smart contract, 70 confirmed projects, if not more, but at least 70, that's the report we got, you know, being onboarded from testnet to main tent, mainnet, Boom, instantaneously. All you need is a handful of those to really stand out. And if anything, do not sleep on your Stellar, right? Look at this quote real quick before we get to the next part of our segment for tonight. We believe that mobile accessibility plays a pivotal role in the cross-chain expansion. No kidding. It allows for, or excuse me, it also offers a possibility to strengthen our collaboration with our ecosystem partners at Ultra Stellar and introduce more users to Stellar's products and services. Isn't that the whole point? To introduce more of the services to the people who simply may not know about the services, but if anything, if they know about the use case and understand that this is a cool thing that they have and it can fit in the palm of their hand, and all of a sudden you press a button and boom, all this stuff comes up. Again, picture like Netflix, but put it on blockchain. Oh, my gosh. So you see a lot of this concept of Stellar getting out to the, you know, the front lines, if you will, of user experience, quality experience. But if anything, what do we know about this? If you have a great experience with any particular app, what are you naturally going to do? Probably going to tell somebody else about it. I know I did it the other night. I was telling Will Fix about this app that I love. It's called Blessed. Why do I love it so much? It's so easy to use. He's obviously a person that, you know, like myself when it comes to our spiritual journey. And guess what? I was like, hey, check out Blessed. It's free. It's easy. But what about when it comes to blockchain? Again, in order for us to get to the concept of massive adoption, you have to give the user a reason to use the particular app. And if it's easy... And people love it. People will talk about it like crazy. 
So getting more into this, exploring the mobile first approach is their next big step. And mobile first approach. Do you understand that when it comes to all this technology and so on, mobility is where it's at. And last we checked, remember a few weeks ago on that report states that when it comes to demographics, 28% of that pie chart is Gen Z. That younger generation has gotten more into blockchain and DLT. And even though that generation, we give them a lot of crap, let's be honest, some of us Gen Y and Gen Xers and so on, give them a lot of crap about being too focused on their phone. But at the end of the day, will it be too bad if they're focused on the right thing? Right. You get where I'm going with this. A little bit more in regards to all this. Um, this whole top concept of uh, mobile first approach, next big step on the path of creating a more interoperable DeFi environment um, is where it's at, but Ultra Stellar established all the way back in 2014 um, has this thing going on, and I think it's a big deal. And the reason why it's a big deal is because, like it says, this update, and I know you don't see a screen that's come on notes, allows this to be connected to, for instance, Lobster, MetaMask. Um, it also showcases the potential of Wallet Connect in the Stellar ecosystem and allows Lobster wallets to securely interact with external services with ease. Isn't that the whole point? I think it's the whole point. Um, and if anything, I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys. And last but not least, excuse me, this will be last but not least. Um, you are no longer needing to, uh, like it says, uh, no, you know, no longer needing to tether to desktops or reliant on multiple devices. Listen to this part back to the EVM subject. Users can experience the ease of bridging between multiple EVM blockchains because we talked about EVM earlier, like Ethereum, Polygon, and even Shello. Everybody tells me, Max, you should hold Shello. Hey, I should hold a lot of things, right? It all adds up. I do like Shello. I, I researched it and so on. I think it's good. I do hold Polygon. Um, and it says basically rate right from what? Their, smart uh, their smartphones. I agree. Revolutionary step embodies the future of blockchain interactions, making it more user-friendly and democratically accessible. And this last part, we believe in a world where blockchain services are intuitive, straightforward, and mobile first. Think about that for a second. Mobile first. So all the focus, or not all the focus, but a lot of focus is on the mobility apps, the dApps, right? Decentralized applications and getting that out there. They understand dApps are going to be a big deal. Say what you want. Charlie Stram, Fester Place also pointed out a long time ago. There's still money to be made in 2023. It might not be life-changing money, but if anything, you see this shift towards the dApps. Why is that? You build a platform where devs can easily build on your particular platform and then next thing you know you get a thriving ecosystem you get a thriving ecosystem what does that spell out for the particular asset that you hold again it's a no-brainer do more of your own research you come to the conclusion that you shouldn't listen to the flood people are going to state that look at the price of stellar and basically speaking oh it's not doing much in the market right now have those people looked into the broader bigger picture of things or are they just looking at prices because that's the popular thing to do in a bear market say what you want i'm not doing that and if anything i want to hold these assets for the long haul right call it hodl call it long-term hold call it whatever you want for me i understand all this stuff that we're connected to for the greater bigger picture of things and hopefully you do too We'll